Okay, so we're going to look at how to connect Magento to Groovepacker. So you start out in your Magento admin area, and under System, uh, we're going to go down to Web Services, and first we're going to go to Roles. So we'll click on that, and then we're going to add a new role, and we'll call this role Full, and we're going to give it full permission. So we go to Role Resources here, and we just say all, and then we're going to say save role. Okay, so now we have our role, and we're going to go back up to system, and then web services, and this time we're going to go to users, and we're going to add a new user. So we need to give this user uh, some credentials here, and most of the stuff you'll never need, but it, it's required, so you have to fill it out. So I'm just going to use gpacker, 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 gpacker at gpacker.com. Okay, so now these two actually matter. Um, this is going to be your kind of like your username and password uh, for the API to use. So in this case, I'm just going to use gpacker and gpacker. Now, I recommend using a longer, more secure uh, password for your key confirmation, um, but I'll leave that up to you. You can use whatever you like. And of course, the account will be active. Now, before we leave, we're going to go to the user role, and we're going to choose our full role. Um, there's actually some other ones that have full permissions here. And if you already have one that has full permissions, feel free to use that. Um, but I'll select that one that we created, and then I'm going to click Save User. So next, we're going to look quickly at how you can put this into Groovepacker. Uh, so let's hop over here, and I need to log in. So we'll do that, and we're going to go to the Settings section. And I don't have... I'm going to go ahead and create a, a new Magento store here, so I'll click on Create Store. And I'll give it a name. Under Store Type, I'm going to choose Magento. And I'll go ahead and put in my gpacker, gpacker. And then for the domain, you're going to put the full URL, just like it shows here, and then the base directory or the root directory for your store. So sometimes you'll have it at store, sometimes you'll have it at forward slash shop, um, but whatever it is, that should go there. And then once that's done, um, you'll want to click on save and close, and that should be it. You should be connected. Um, once it's been created, it will be. it should be active, it'll show active here, and then when you click on import orders, it should imp begin importing. And uh, that's all there is to it. Thanks. Bye.